the whistle. Out of the way goes Ray Hutch. Points to the red lights. Uh, Gary McCoy appeared to be the first away. Rob Hudson very close to him. And last time around, Gareth Arnold had that two-second advantage over the number 71 of the race winner earlier on today, David McArthur. I believe it is still David McArthur indeed ahead of the 1-2-3 of Johnny Stewart on the Kawasaki. That's over. A lot of ground to make up. Can he do it in just six laps? He is a rather special rider, as we've seen this weekend so far. But can he do it this time? And this is tight. Gary McCoy from Rob Hudson. Mike Brown just having a look at the inside of Don Gilbert. So Mike Brown, for a poor opening lap there, really starting to gain traction and move further up the field as Gary McCoy and Rob Hudson cross the line. Gary McCoy with a 1 minute 49.0, Rob Hudson with a 1 minute 48.853, but it's Marcus Simpson, Mike Norbury, Don Gilbert, Mike Brown makes up two positions on Tom Whedon and Baz Berber. Ian Luckham moves up inside the top 10 on that team ILR on the CBR 600. And I believe it is still David McCarthy in the head of the 1 2 3 of Johnny Stewart on the Kawasaki. The biggest mover is uh, Connor Wade, bike number 30, making up eight positions. Uh, from his starting position on the 20th. Uh, Sean McTaggart as well, Michael 188 has made up seven positions in the first three laps of this event. But the race leader is making the way now over the jumps and will be heading towards Farm Bends any moment now. So the riders will be returning back to the through the gate here at Farm Bends. After that race has been declared a result to a win, we remind you for Gary McCoy, Rob Hudson in second, Marcus Simpson in third place. Fastest lap of the race went to fifth place, number 16, Mike Brown. And Ryan is slowly filtering the way down. And just tipping his way in towards Farm Bend as we speak. With Chris Brayley, his personal best lap of the race of 2 minutes 7.216, average speed of 68.7 miles per hour.